Yo, every week I scour the interwebs to find juicy free games for you to enjoy, and this week is no exception. So I wanna jump right in because we have quite a few noteworthy freebies to enjoy, and we start on the Epic Store. Here you can still get your hands on Call of the Wild The Angler, a fishing simulator where I spent 3 hours doing the fishing thing and didn't catch a single fish. I guess that gives this bad boy a 10 out of 10 on the realism scale. You can still get your sticky hands on it until the 28th of March, so you still have a few days to park this bad boy in your digital library if you're part of the game hoarding club. Alongside the fishy fish fish game, you can also claim Invisible Presence Adam Eve, which is an adventure visual novel game sprinkled with a bit of action for some added spice. This is a neat little game with a surprisingly fun turn based combat. If you enjoyed Amazon's Invincible series or the comics, you'll probably enjoy this as well. And it's also available until the 28th of March. Starting March 28th, both games will be replaced by Islets, where you take to the sky and reunite a fragmented world in this surprisingly wholesome Metroidvania adventure game. You help Aiko adventure across beautiful hand-painted islands, receive letters from a quirky cast of characters and face powerful monstrous ex-girlfriends. And to be fair, what a wonderfully charming little game. It's got a wonderful aesthetic and a rock-solid gameplay. Movements can feel a little bit floaty now and then, but it's a rewarding metroidvania with a lot of recommendations to go. The core understanding of gameplay design honestly rivals Hollow Knight in terms of the sheer strength of the fundamentals. It's pretty good. Levels are laid out intuitively, hazards are well posted, and exploration is encouraged and rewarded through the world design. Eyelids is currently sitting in with very positive reviews on Steam and for sure worth a try, even if you're more a 3D type of person than a 2D type of person. And by the way, if you want to stay up to date on free games and get them served to you in this quick and quirky setting, then do us both a favor and smash the subscribe button with your forehead. Uh, thank you. Oh, and don't forget, links to all of the games mentioned in this video are in the description and take you straight to the deal, so no googling required. I want to take a quick jump over to GOG, where Book of Demons is free to claim for a limited time. They usually have limited keys as well, so if you want it, you better be quick and claim it. Book of Demons is a hack and slash in which you decide the length of the quest you want to embark on. You wield magic cards instead of weapons and slay the armies of darkness in this dungeon below the old cathedral type of thing. The story has something to do about saving the terror-stricken paperverse from the clutches of some dude named Archdemon, but I'm not really interested in that. Gameplay wise I'm putting it at an 8 out of 10 and surprisingly juicy. If you're into dungeon crawlers and deck builders then you're in for a treat. Surprisingly the game is listed at full price on 23 euros on the steam page with very positive reviews to go with it so they're off to a good start. It's great value for a free game. You will most likely have to give GOG your email, which means your email will most likely be nuked by a thousand emails in the span of two days, but um, I guess that's the cost of free. Some weeks ago I told you that the Elder Scrolls Online was free to claim, and if you manage to claim it, you can now claim Orsinium DLC for free. If you didn't know, the Elder Scrolls Online is the award winning online multiplayer RPG. Here you have to battle, craft, steal, explore and combine different types of equipment and abilities to create your very own style of play. And you know what's even better, there's no damn game subscriptions required. The Elder Scrolls Online is currently sitting in with very positive reviews on Steam, and out of all of the MMOs that I've played, this one's community is the one that makes me want to kill myself the least, and for that it deserves a spot in this video. Next up and another free to play is Midnight Ghost Hunt, a chaotic multiplayer hide and seek game. Here you possess seemingly harmless objects as ghosts or chase them down as hunters before the clock strikes midnight. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was just another prop hunt game but I changed my mind as soon as midnight hit and I was mauled to death by a Kia furniture. I really didn't see that one coming. It's an early access and free to play, so be gentle on it and you can still take it for a spin for a few more days and enjoy it, if it's your type of thing. 
I wanted to get your attention on Sandland that has released a new demo for you to try. It's surprisingly fun and I thought it was worth a mention. And also considering that I actually grew up in a desert, this uh, hits pretty close to home. I like the refreshing art style and the mechs are a clear 10 out of 10. It's an action RPG game with a sprinkle of vehicular combat that's executed very well. It's for sure worth trying and if you end up liking the game you can add it to your wishlist as it's expected to be released on the 24th of April, which is uh, just around the corner. Another quickie that I want to run by you and something that you can get your hands on is Forage Ranger Simulator Apprenticeship that pretty much has every letter in the alphabet, but it's a prologue for the game Forest Ranger Simulator. Here you will have 45 minutes to explore and have a glimpse of the story and game mechanics, and if you're quick you can build, clean, compost and manage your forest I guess. So here I guess if you enjoy foresting, if that's even a word, with a spin of simulation and exploration, then take this bad boy out for a spin. Our next free to play game this week is Museum Mystery, which is a deck building story driven roguelike adventure where museum exhibits come to life, you know wrecking chaos on everything they see. Here you'll have the pleasure of exploring halls from different eras, battle works of art, collect your own decks of artifacts and last but not least solve the mystery. It's a fun little deck building game and the premise is certainly inspired by a particular movie. You can tell me in the comment section what you think that is. But to be fair, the game actually manages to make it work quite well, for, for an indie game at least. It came out just a few days ago and it's currently sitting in with positive reviews, so it's off to a pretty good start. So I guess if you enjoy card battlers and you haven't been to the museum for quite some time, you should take this bad boy out for a spin. The first part of Age of Water has become free to play. Here you will embark on your first adventure on a post-apocalyptic earth completely covered in water. You know, they were saying that the water level was rising, but then uh, this bad. Here you get to sail through storms and fight and trade and capture other people's boats or build your own if you're so inclined. All of this alongside extracting resources from the bottom of the ocean and revealing the secrets of the age of the water world. To be fair, it's actually better than Ubisoft's Skull and Bones, and that's saying something. The only thing that this game is missing is a stronger marketing team, because it's surprisingly fun to play despite being a bit rough around the edges. I mean, how else could I say it? It's like a Sea of Thieves, but it's a Kevin Costner's water world kind of thing. A great little one hour prologue and if you enjoy PvP then uh, this is your thing. I recommend giving the game a try once at least and uh, see what you think. We haven't covered a tower defense game in quite some time. So are you prepared for a thrilling toy army tower defense adventure? Because welcome to the Toy Shire. Here you battle diverse foes in various locations, defend your family and repel foes from your very own bedroom. It's a super cool setting and totally hits my nostalgia bone. I took it out for a spin and I must say that the gameplay is pretty nice, it took me around 30 minutes to complete so it's not that bad. The only gripe I have is that this kid is so annoying and even more so when he repeats the same lines to a degree where I wanna smash my head into the keyboard. Luckily I found the mute button before that and uh, all is good. Keep in mind it's only 30 minutes long, it's a prologue of the original which is expected to come out in Q2 of 2024. Despite it being fairly simple I don't think you'll be disappointed uh, taking this one for a spin. And that's pretty much all I had for you in this one. And thanks a lot for taking the time to watch my video, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, subscribe if you haven't liked the why not. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.